Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about all things printing. So I thought I'd end it off with a little conversation about the Windows default printer setting. Firstly, I suppose we should clear up what the word default means. In this case, it means the setting that you set if you haven't set another setting. It's what's always in place if nothing else has been set. Windows has always been pretty good with this. You say, this is the printer that I want, and it's always the first printer that pops up when you press print. And all of the others are listed down below in case you wanted to choose one of them. Easy. With Windows 10, things have become just a little bit more complicated. I've had to fix quite a few issues with people's default printer suddenly changing on them. And at first it was quite confusing, because this is a new feature that Microsoft added in. The default behaviour for Windows is for Windows to now manage your default printer based on the printer you last printed to in the location that you're in. Now, this seems like a really good idea, especially for laptop users. When I'm in this building and Windows can detect that, it sets my default printer to the printer nearest to my desk. And then when I go to a different building and log into a different network, it knows where I am and chooses the default printer that's nearest to me. It seems like a really good idea, and I guess for people that move around a lot and have different printers that they print to in different locations, it might actually work. For most people in an office with a desktop computer that never goes anywhere, except maybe a millimetre or two to the left or the right when somebody cleans around it, that's really not that relevant. So thankfully, there's a way to fix it. If you go into the settings, and then into the hardware settings, choose printers, there's a tick box down here to turn off let Windows manage my default printers. Now, whichever default printer you set will stay your default printer. Unless, of course, a network administrator has set it so that it resets your default printer each time. That is a possibility. Sometimes they think they know best. I hope that was helpful for you. Do you like letting Windows manage your default printer? Have you found a use for it? Or has it just been confusing for you? Let me know in the comments down below. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. We post new episodes every weekend and you can be notified by them by clicking the subscribe button down here. There's also some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.